Hey everybody, this is John from Alpine Archery and Fly in the Grand Oregon. We are kicking off our 2017 bow reviews with the new PSE Carbon Air 34. This is the second installment of PSE's Carbon Series bows and there are some upgrades on this bow that we're going to talk about today. And some things I'm pretty excited about. Let's start with the Evolve cam system. This is new for PSE. This is a quad track binary cam system. They have rotating module like all the other PSEs, but what's new and exciting for this year on this bow, besides being a binary cam, is the adjustable draw or the adjustable let off on this bow, which is 80 to 90%. It's got a yoke system so the cam levels itself out. Uh, rotating module here, lettered so we know what the draw length is. It's adjustable up to 31 and a half inches of draw length. It's got a six and seven eighths inch brace height. Very similar to last year's carbon bow. It's right at 3.6 pounds, so still super light. One of my favorite parts of this bow is the new cable system from PSE, the cable slide. Uh, this cable system folds in when you draw the bow to take the torque out of the system, and it's a roller guard, so less wear and tear on the strings. Really sleek system there, we love that. Uh, it's got all the dampeners in it, the shocks here, and on the string stop as well that we like. Like last year's PSE Carbon Bow, very light, super quiet because of the way the carbon riser is built. Love that. Um, again, like last year's Carbon Bow, it does have a touch. I don't want to call it vibration so much as it's a punchy feel on the shot. I personally like that about the bow. It's not a horrible feel on the shot at all. It's just a little bit punchy. I call it a follow through what I like. One more thing about this bow that we need to talk about is the wedge lock limb pocket. This was introduced last year on their Target series bows and this is a great addition. I think um, this series really makes the limb pockets more stable and the limbs more stable. When you put the limbs in, turn this dial, spreads them apart, really locks them into place. Just another added feature to the stability of this super light bow. So I'm a big fan of this bow. Um, America's best cables and strings. It's a great system as always. Up to 336 with this cam system at 90% let off. That's pretty sweet. Um, that 90% let off gives you a little bit more valley and a little bit more room to play for those people who didn't like the cam on last year's drive. So we're going to go shoot it and see what y'all think. All right, so now we're getting ready to shoot this bow. Went through and tuned it this morning. Uh, after we did a little talk about it. Took two shots to get a perfect bullet hole, so it tunes up really easy. Um, eyeballed the center shot, set the loop, dead even, dead center, right where it needs to be. Shot once, had a slight right tear, adjusted the rest, perfect bullet hole done. Super easy bow to tune. Really like the cam system and the way it, way it draws. So we're gonna shoot it now. You can get an idea what it looks like and sounds like, and then I'll give you my opinions on it. So, as you can see, this is a super quiet bow does have a little bit of that punchy shot that I was talking about that I liked earlier. Overall, the draw cycle on this bow is really, really nice. It ramps up quickly to peak up peak weight, but not super hard, very smooth that way. Drops off into that nice valley that we were talking about. It's got it's an 85% right now, so it's right in the middle of the adjustment range. Uh, if you like a little bit shorter valley, you can go to that 80%. If you want a little bit more, you can go to the 90%. With this, uh, Cable guard, taking the torque off the cable system at full draw, the bow aims and points really nicely. Not a whole lot of movement, which we've seen from a lot of other super light bows when we're aiming. So I'm a big fan of that. Come down and shoot this bow. I think you'll really like it. Go to your other PSE dealers, shoot it. I think you'll really like this bow. I know I do. If you're a backcountry bow hunter with a long draw length, this is the bow that you want to have in your hands coming this, uh, coming this next season. PSE did a great job, fit and finish is awesome, just like they are on most PSE bows. So come on down, shoot one, go to your local dealer, shoot one, buy one, you're gonna love it. <laughs> 